I'll start by um, announcing our Employee of the Month. Um, we always choose our Employee of the Month based on somebody who goes above and beyond and um, who really shines that month and, um, and all, with, all the time, really. Um, but this month, um, we had an employee that, that came in during the snowstorm and recognized the need of a client and um, decided to, uh, without a repair order or anything, get the part from David, fix her car, and get it back to her. And this lady was stranded um, during the snowstorm and didn't see where she was going to get her car fixed for at least four days because of the snow. But James Thomason, our employee of the month. He stepped up and fixed her car and brought it back to her. So you are the January employee of the month. And we have changed the award. So it looks a little different, yes, yeah, a little bit. So you get the very first one. Congratulations. Well, I was invited down to this particular employee meeting. I get invited to most of them, but this one is a particularly special one because it is January the first of the year. But this year's special, for those of you that don't know, it's our 40th anniversary of Jim Ellis Automotive. So I think this is a very, very special year. It's a special month and a special day. So I wanted to come down and congratulate all of you that have been around any number of years, or certainly those that have, I guess, received the awards today that the managers have given out. So we appreciate your efforts. None of that success is possible without employees like you here today putting in the effort, coming in every day, showing up, as Bill Curry said, having the toughness, being prepared, and certainly never giving up and never quitting on the job. And that's what makes champions, that's what makes success. And we're very proud that this is our 40th anniversary. We invite everybody to celebrate this year with us and have this be another great year. And Mr. Ellis, our founder, is here today too, so I just wanted to recognize him. Thank you. Because obviously without him, there would be no Jim Ellis Automotive. So we owe so much to him and glad he could come down and, and uh, join in our celebration today. I do want to introduce and bring over some very special people from Audi today. A very special one is our regional director with Audi of America, Don Stevenson. He has come today. So now you all are saying, okay, something is up. <laughs> this doesn't normally happen on our Audi monthly employee meetings. And something is up. But we're going to let Don tell you about that. Don Stevenson. Thank you, John. Well, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, first off, congratulations to the Ellis organization on your anniversary. Um, I think Jimmy makes a great point. You don't stay in business this long and be this successful unless you've got a winning formula. And of course, that involves having the right people. So you're all part and parcel of that. So congratulations on your success. Audi last month, as you know, was a tough month, but the region finished up 23% over January of last year. Audi nationally was up over 20% a year ago. So despite snowstorms, ice storms, and every other act of God that you can imagine that seemed to hit us last month, the brand came out way ahead. And this store certainly did its part in ensuring that success. So, on behalf of Audi, thank you very much for your efforts, Tracy and Jimmy and everybody here. It really means a lot. But as you all know in this business, it all comes down to the people. You can build great cars. You can have undoubtedly the most unchallenged, superior car in the world. But if you don't have the right people and those people don't do the right things, you're not going to go anywhere anytime fast. And it's something that we in Audi have come to believe is going to be a real decider in separating us from the competition as we go forward. Everybody has good cars out there nowadays. Audi, we think, has the best cars. But the difference you all bring every day to the dealership is what's going to bring the difference between us being successful and wildly successful. So <clears throat> when we heard about James' efforts last month, we thought, you know, we're asking our dealers to go beyond the pale, to really delight and surprise our customers beyond their expectations. And we looked at the example that James set for us, and you set a pretty high bar. And we thought, you know, when he reached out and helped Miss Lowenstein on her Q5, 
when he traveled out on a day that was really very dangerous, and I can attest to that because I was sliding sideways down 85 trying to get to the airport to get up to another garden spot of the world, otherwise known as Detroit, for our dealer council meeting. I, I can attest it was not a good day to be on the highway. And yet this gentleman went out at his own risk to help out an Audi customer that wasn't even an Ellis customer, who was in a very bad way, and not only got her car in, overcame those odds, got the car repaired when the shop was barely open, and then went the extra mile and got the car returned back to her at the hotel where the woman was literally stranded trying to get from the Midwest back to her home in Florida. And it got her back on the road, and I imagine she's still smiling from the experience. So, James, while we can't make you Employee of the Month Bounty, we can't quite reach that highest scale like you've done in the Ellis organization. But since you've done such a great job of really setting the benchmark for what we'd like to see all Audi dealers and Audi associates do, we want to do something for you. So we can't make you Employee of the Month, but we thought if we gave you the keys of an A8 to drive for the balance of this year, maybe that might help make up for it. driving the vehicle for a whole year. I already work on the vehicle, so uh, it's going to be a real pleasure to enjoy a lot of the aspects of it, you know, a lot of the features and everything. So, I think it was a big surprise, right? Huge surprise. <laughs> Huge surprise. <laughs>